Hey everybody, Big Mikey C here at Cosmo Music. Welcome 2023, man. Wow, a new year. Sorry I've been a little bit out of the scene for a while. I'm back with a new video. And today's theme, pretty well, I wanted just to grab some things I haven't really had the opportunity to check out yet. Show them to you and for me to have an opportunity just to, to hear them uh, and see them. So for today's rig, we've got uh, a great company out of Sweden, uh, EBS Bass Amplification. They've been around since 1988, a very, very well-respected boutique-style company in the bass industry. Some very notable endorsers they have is Hendrik Linder, from Dirty Loops, awesome bass pair, awesome band. Definitely gotta check them out. And Tal Wickenfeld, very, very uh, great bass player. Um, had a notable gig with Jeff Beck. Unfortunately, we just lost him, uh, very sad. But anyways, so for today's flavor, we've got the Reedmar 750, 750 watt head, and we've got the Neo 212 cab which is most of the EBS cabinets are four ohms, meaning it's going to get the full load of the head. They do have options uh, for eight ohm calves, but primarily all their calves in their line are four ohms. I've actually decided to pull out a couple bases uh, just to give a couple different vibe and flavor. Uh, so the first base I've got here is a very unique base made by Marconi Labs. It's the Ergo 5 in this very, very rad pink color. Uh, the whole idea about this base is it's ergonomically designed uh, to be in a, in a positive frame when you're standing, obviously I'm, I'm standing today for the first time, which is kind of weird to me, but uh, you see all my four foot nine in its glory. <laughs> uh, hey man, it's okay. Vertically challenges is fine. At least I'm not follically challenged. Hey! <laughs> Woohoo! You can finally use my hair for the first time. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> um, so this bass has a very, very um, ergonomic vibe to it. Sits very, very well, very comfortable. It's actually bolt-on. So let's check it out and see what it sounds like through this head and cab. So pretty well uh, control-wise, it's a pretty laid, laid out, uh, really neat design. You got your basically gain. It has a built-in compressor, which we'll talk about quickly. Uh, bass, mid, frequency trouble, bright drive, and a master volume. This filter button, what it actually does is it controls the actual parametric EQ here. So when the button is disengaged, its amp is essentially basically flat. Uh, and then you can also uh, have the comp happening as well. I'll place an example with, with the EQ on and the EQ off. I'll stand back up again. So did I say anything stupid as of yet? So let's now try that without the actual EQ. So it's, it has like a little bit more clarity and punchiness when you actually have the EQ engaged. And I have the comp pretty well almost down to barely nothing. So let me just bump up the, the comp a little bit. And let me just play that, that lick again. So it's cool. It's like you're, you're hearing a, a little bit of it squeeze just a tiny little bit, but definitely for that little slap thing I'm playing, it definitely adds a little bit more oomph and punchiness to the sound. So hey, let's check out a different flavor with another bass. Uh, so what I got here is a, actually a short scale. Hey, finally a bass that fits him. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but short scales actually have a really cool vibe, and especially in the upper register. It's just got a really sweet sound that uh, a lot of guys who have regular uh, 34 inch scale basses, they'll actually have a short scale in their arsenal for that reason, because it just has this really cool kind of neat sound in the upper register. <laughs> So 
it's just like a really singing, singing kind of quality. I don't know how to describe it. Um, you can't get that sound on a, on a regular 34 inch scale, possibly because of the shorter scale um, and the string is responding a little bit different way. Uh, and just the FYI for you guys out there that don't know the reason why it's a short scale, uh, generally the way you measure a bass is from the bridge to the nut, if you actually measure it, that is the actual scaling. So on a regular Fender style bass, it would be 34 inches. In this case, it would be actually 30 inches from nut to bridge. And so in my case, because uh, obviously I got, <laughs> I got shorter arms, man. For me, it's, it's perfect because normally I've, all my life I've had to do, do this. It's like, oh my Lord. Uh, but in this case, like my hand's in the perfect right spot and it's just so much, much, much more comfortable. Uh, so anyways, this bass is the Sire U5. Sire has become a really popular brand uh, in association with Marcus Miller. Uh, he is pretty well the face of Sire. But in this case, they've decided to go with a PJ configuration, meaning two precision pickups, two jazz pickup. And in this case, the, the jazz pickup is actually in a 70 style configuration. Control wise, it's very simple, it's passive. In this configuration, we have two volumes and a tone, very basic, uh, and a lovely uh, flame top, and it's an alder body. Uh, so let's just check it out with this amp configuration. I've tweaked the controls just a little bit. Uh, I've rolled off some of um, the middle and the treble. I've toned down the frequency to 600 hertz. I've upped the bass a little bit. And we're going go also, let's engage <laughs> the EQ so you can hear the actual EQ. Funky Broadway, Wilson Pickett, man. I'm gonna disengage the EQ and let's hear the same lick again. So cool. Uh, in this case, because it's kind of a more of a vintage -y sound, for this bass, I kind of dig it without the EQ personally. Uh, so cool combination. Let's try something even more different now. Right here, we got a Music Man, and I had to choose this one. I was cruising by our bass department in the store, and it's like, whoa, what is that? So this is the Music Man special with an amethyst uh, color, they call it. I would just say it's like groovy purple sparkle, man. Reminds me of Prince. I <laughs> uh, love Prince. Too bad he's gone. Uh, man, all these like musicians, they're dropping like flies. We're getting old, Mike. I know, holy crap. <laughs> so different, different, different type of sound. Um, obviously Music Man has a very, very well-respected and storied career. Uh, notable players, obviously we've got um, Joe Dart, who's a really, really cool, more um, newer player on the scene. Tony Levin, obviously. Lewis Johnson, who was one of the very uh, first guys and actually helped Leo Fender uh, R&D some of the basses. Great bass player. Brothers Johnson, man, great band. Uh, anyways, so we want maybe a more modern sound. Uh, so we're gonna turn up the bass, maybe put the treble to half. Gonna leave the drive down. Uh, I'm pretty not going very crazy on the volume. I've got the, this head is pretty powerful as to, like we've got the volume down here to almost nothing. Beginning about halfway. Uh, I'm gonna maybe add a little bit more compression this time. Turn up the bass a little bit. Okay, and let's play a lick with this and then I will also turn off uh, the EQ and then we can hear it without EQ as well. Favorite tune of mine, Behind the Lines, Phil Collins, Lee Sklar on bass. Man, love Lee Sklar. You watch his YouTubes? Yes. Yeah, they're good, eh? Lee's great, man. Always wishes me happy birthday on my birthday. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lee's, Lee's a super cool cat. So let's disengage the, pre the, the EQ on here, and let's try the same lick again without it. Okay, 
Cool. Like all his Facebook friends, yeah. he takes the time out and sends a happy birthday. Yeah, that's cool. Man. He's that cool. Hey, I'm Big Mikey C. Please go to cosmomusic.ca to check out these products I featured and other cool bass items. And also, while you're at it, please, it'd be great if you hit like and subscribe on YouTube. And thank you so much for all the great, amazing, amazing comments a lot of you guys have left. It truly, truly warms my heart, man. So thank you very much. Till next time, keep safe and play more bass. His friend, do you know Rick Beato? Yeah, yeah. Well, Rick Beato YouTube. is a good is good I buddies with. Big YouTube guys. Yeah, so he said he told Lee, Lee, you got to get on YouTube, man. Yeah.